Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. My name is Valerie Fuller and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the latest edition of the African Diaspora News Channel where we unravel the stories that shape our world and our communities. It's an exciting time for Africa's automotive industry and there's a lot to talk about right now. We've been hearing a lot about how the global market is shifting towards electric mobility. But what about Africa, right? Well, we're definitely not sitting on the sidelines anymore. I mean, this week, we've witnessed a major milestone in Africa's electric vehicle journey as the Kina Faso launched its very own electric vehicle brand, which is Itawa. And yes, you've heard that right, Itawa, right? Now, this is a huge deal for a continent that has historically been left out of the global conversation on electric mobility. But now, Burkina Faso has stepped up to the plate and I have to say, it's quite impressive. I mean, the Itawa electric vehicle is a game changer. I mean, it's a 100% electric solar powered and designed to be eco-friendly. Now, this is a bold step towards reducing the carbon footprint of our transportation systems and the fact that it can actually go 330 kilometers on a single charge in just 30 minutes is seriously impressive. I mean, it's clear that Africa is starting to think green and not just in the context of sustainable energy, but in a way that positions our industries for the future. Now, I can't help but feel a little bit of pride when I see the way Africa is embracing innovation like this. I mean, it's been a long time coming, right? I mean, for so long, we've been consumers of foreign tech, but now we're starting to produce our own solution, which are ones that fit our continent's unique needs and challenges. And, and it's not just about Utoa from Burkina Faso, so, right? There are other countries that are making similar strides. I mean, from Botswana launching its first locally assembled EV to South Africa, Morocco, Kenya, many other countries are actually diving into the EV race. And in fact, Africa's electric vehicle market hit $15.8 billion in 2024 and is expected to grow up to $25.4 billion by 2029. Now, that's real growth, right? I mean, Look at the stats, right? Yes, China and Europe and USA are still dominating the global EV market, right? But but we're catching up. And, and our growth in EV adoption is about more than just the numbers. I believe it's about the potential to create jobs, to build infra infrastructure, and dare I say, to reshape our relationship with the environment. And, and I know there are some challenges ahead, right? Let's not sugarcoat it. Like infrastructure, like charging um, stations, Maintaining these networks and a stable energy grid are all essential pieces of the puzzle. But here's the thing. The market is already showing potential. And when you look at how countries like Morocco and South Africa have invested in the future of EVs, you know that this is just the beginning. And, and personally, I think it's about time that we as Africans started to see the electric car as our car as well, and not just something imported from the West or East. I mean, look at the Etoa, for example, right? It was designed with us in mind and it, it takes into account the diverse terrains and energy challenges we face. And that, for me, feels different. It's no longer about fitting into a mold that doesn't fit our realities. So Africa, I believe it's time to get excited. The electric vehicle uh, revolution is no longer something happening elsewhere, but it's happening right here. Whether it's through solar-powered cars like Etoa or local assembly plants popping up in, in, in Botswana, the shift is underway and I, for one, can't wait to see where it will be in the next five years. What are your thoughts on this? Please, let's continue the conversation in the comment section. We really want to hear from you. And while you're at it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That's it from me. Till we meet again, it is. Bye-bye.